Hey, everybody. Uh, so, hello, and uh, good day to you all again. Uh, hopefully, everything went well yesterday. Um, so, let's just start off by going over those kind of challenging multiplication problems using the area model and see how everybody did. So, first, I'm going to get my rectangle tool out here. Um, Maybe what I'll do, I'll just use the same rectangle for both problems. Just change the writing. So we'll start with 345 by 64. Okay. Well, this is 345. Um, it wouldn't be so helpful to, you know, make part of it 340 and just part of it 5, right? Uh, I, it's not easy for me to multiply 340 by stuff. But, you know, what would be easy is to multiply 300 by stuff and 40 by stuff. So we'll just break it up to different times now. 40 in this section, 300 in this section. Uh, all right, so that's 5, that's 40, and there's 300. Okay, on this side we got 64, so we'll just make this bit 60 and this bit 4. It's a very useful thing to just say these drawings are not the scale. So we can see we're going to have like six steps to this. And if you were to run, by, run through this algorithm over here, 4 by 5, 4 by 4, 4 by 3, that's 3, 6, 5, 6, 4, 6, 3, that's six steps, right? And then the adding together. So that's pretty cool. We can see the algorithm taking shape as the area model. Uh, let's just go for it. So this little uh, rectangle here, let's find the area of it. Let's find how many squares fit inside this rectangle. That would be 4 by 5. That'd be... 20 rectangle, or sorry, 20 squares can fit inside there. Um, how about this one next? Why not? Uh, 5 by 60, that'd be 300, right? 40 by 60, you can think of this. We, we talked briefly about this uh, in some of the classes. This is in the tens place. This is in the tens place. A tens times a tens is going to be in the hundreds. So that whatever we find, four by, you know, if we do 4 by 6, then that's going to be how many hundreds we have. 4 by 6 is 24, that's 2,400. We could just write it and look at it. That's 2,400, 2,400. A tens by a 1, that's just going to be 10. So what, what, whatever we find, that's the number of tens. 4 by 4 is 16, that's 16 tens, right? Um, so hundreds by tens, that's going to be in the thousands, right? So 3 by 6 is 18,000, OK? Uh, and lastly, here we're going to do 300 by 4, that's hundreds by 1, that's going to be in the hundreds, 3 by 4 is 12, that's 1,200, okay? Sorry, this writing is a little weird, it's, it's just uh, kind of slowing this computer down and making it do weird things. So we'll just add it all together, 18,000 by 2,400 by 1,200, it's making these zeros really small, I'm right, slower. Uh, 300, uh, oh, no, I missed the line that, didn't I? Ooh, neat. Uh, 1,200, then 300, nice and slow. Uh, 160 and 20. Let's add that all up. But we don't have any ones, actually. Uh, this 4 times 5 got, uh, you know, it just perfectly came up with just 10s. There's nothing in the 1's place. So add up the 10s, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 10s. How many of the 6, 7, 8, 10s? That's 80. We'll add up the 100s, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 10 hundreds. Actually, that's not enough to, that, I mean, that's so many that we don't have any hundreds. We just have thousands. That's what that explains the carrying, right? We, we have so many hundreds added up, we, get, we came out with a, a thousand. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that's 12 thousands, okay? That's enough for a 2,000 and a 10,000, okay? We have a 10,000 here, a 10,000 here, that's two 10,000s or 20,000, so we have 22,080 squares, where the product of 345 and 64 is 22,080. And now you, you're you empowered, like you, when... To, to, like you and somebody else might be arguing over, you know, what, what's the correct answer. You can go to, here is exactly why the product has to be 22,080, uh, because it's right there. There's a rectangle. There, 
this is exactly how we would find the area. Um, there's nothing to refute. There's nothing to argue with. You must be right. That's what I love about math. You, you must be right. My wife doesn't always like that attitude, so I have to watch it. All right, slowly erasing all this stuff. Why slowly? This computer is slow. I know you're not just uh, starting to get loud and talking to each other, and I appreciate that. You're a great group. Um, you're my favorite group. Keep in mind, this is a recording that all classes will watch. OK, so this next one is big. It's in the thousands times the thousands. So we're going to have to really push ourselves. But we know that we're going to break out a piece of it. It's going to be 3,000, right? We'll make that 3,000. Um, next will be 400. 400. That'll be a little sliver there. 80. That's 80. And uh, oh, this is not the scale. Forget. Uh, don't forget. It's not the scale. 3,486. We just said, it's, it's funny, you know, we, we, we said the number, but we just read four different numbers. But that's how it works. Uh, OK, so maybe we'll try and make this a little closer to scale. This is going to be our 2,000. Uh, 400. This is going to look terrible. 400. Uh, uh, 80. Uh, so, uh, two, uh, look at what I did. 2,000. It should have been 800. 2,800. Uh, 90. And 3. All right, again, not the scale, but we get the idea. We, we know what we're trying to do. We know this is 3,000 along. This is 486, 2,893. Okay, so to find the, the total area, we're going to have to add up a bunch of different things. Um, and once we're done, I have a little bit to say about that. So uh, let's find the area of this little guy here. That's 3 by 6. That's 18 squares would fit in there. Let's just keep going. 6 by 9, that's a 1's place by a 10's place, so we're going to get 10's. 6 by 9, that's 54. That's 54 10's. That's 540. Uh, 6 by 800, that's a 1's by 100's. It's going to be 100. 6 by 8 is... Uh, uh, 40, 48. Uh, my memory fails me this early in the morning. 4... 48 hundreds, so it's 4,800. Six, you know, ones place by a thousands place, that's going to be thousands. Six by two is 12, 12,000. 80 by 2,000. Tens place by the thousands place, that's going to be 10,000. Eight times two is 16, 16, 10,000. Ooh, 16. Now, this would be 16,000, 16, 10,000, 16, 10, right? So that's actually 160,000. That's how we would read that. 80 by 800, that's tens by hundreds. That's going to be in the thousands place. 8 by 8 is 64,000. All right, 80 by 90, that's uh, tens times tens. That's going to be hundreds. It's going to be 8 times 9 is 72. Hundreds, that's 7,200. Tens by ones, that's going to be tens. Eighty by three, eight by three is going to be uh, twenty. Uh, Twenty-four. Oh, I just had a feeling that was going to start up. So, uh, you know, actually, I'm going to I'm going to pause this and and come back to it just a second. Hopefully, this is better. Let's keep going. All right, 400 by 3. That's hundreds by ones. That's going to be hundreds. Four by four times three is 12. That's 1,200. It's still doing it. Hmm. Yeah. All right, I'm going to fix this. 